think we automatically go, like our default answer is always that supposed, like our breakup show. I mean, not supposed, it was our breakup show. It's, it was supposed to be our breakup show. Uh, Chad was pulling some bullshit and I freaked out on him, yelled at him, he yelled back. We broke up. We still had a show to play. These pussies didn't want to play it. I told them they had to. So Dave was drunk by 5 p.m. She showed up at my house to like pick up his shit. I was like, holy shit, this is gonna be such a fucking nightmare. We were saved by a sound guy named Joel Simches. Is that how you pronounce it? The first sound guy that we had who gave a fuck about how we actually sounded. During sound check, he really listened to like what we were doing. We were all pissed drunk by that point and like didn't even really care. Dave was about to kill himself and Chad was like fucking telling me that he wasn't gonna play the show or whatever. We had a light show going. Um, we had our friend Kevin playing bass for us. We had no light show. We had no extra musicians. It was just the three of us. And like a shitload of people that came to see us. Something happened. Something clicked. We just played it a really fucking awesome show. I want to say that it was my most memorable, but the problem is I don't remember it that much. I really don't. I remember bits of it, but I wouldn't say it was my most memorable. Chad forgot to hit record on the fucking video camera. We have no evidence of it. We had a bunch of people dress up in animal costumes. We were also bolstered by uh, a couple of friends, the Count and the Dalmatian, who came on stage with us, ended up on stage for many, many songs, pushing us around, shoving us, um, hugging us while we were playing. Uh, the atmosphere was, was pretty intense there. Uh, and it was the first time that we, we had an encore and we actually didn't have any more songs. We had played all the songs that we had at that time. So we had to play a song that we had just been practicing. It was, uh, it was Bloody Footprints. We have since reworked and, and redone and is now going to be on our second album, Barbara's Bloody Footprints. So it's almost a titular song. Another memorable experience is, uh, what's another memorable experience? What happened then? Our first show at Middlesex. Our first show ever. Oh, okay. We were definitely not prepared for this first show. We decided to do it anyway. We were opening up for Barnacle, and it was like during an art show. And I was so fucking nervous that I, I mean, I wanted to throw up. I don't think I threw up, but I think I had to go to the bathroom plenty of times. We were all scared shitless, except for Chad. Chad said he wasn't scared shitless. I think he might have been. First song, Avery Morgan. I missed the cue. The band comes in without me. Shit just became unplugged, but we rebounded and ended up playing just a pretty bad show instead of as shitty as the first song was. It wasn't horrible, like I, I enjoyed it, but it was an experience that I wanted to care about and I, was, I really wanted it to go well. So in one way or another, it was probably really traumatic. That's why it's um, memorable, you know. I, I, I'll always rem remember that first show. I'm always gonna remember like what that felt like. And that's the important thing, I think. I think you always have to try to remember what it felt like when you didn't know what you were doing. Uh, the first show, maybe, but um, I guess uh, maybe the, the breakup show, kind of. The first memorable show is, is playing outside of Massachusetts. I would say the Philadelphia show, uh, The Fire. <laughs> we are, it's from the sky. We are from Cambridge, Massachusetts. <laughs> In Philly, during our last song, my amplifier broke. You got one more song. <laughs> Basically, we were forced to play 2021 instead of doing the kick ass rock version. We had to play it like the album. but we've never played it like the album. We got to travel in a van and stayed in the van. 
just had a good time. It was like the first time we traveled together. And it was kind of monumental. Uh, we learned some stuff about each other as well as being a band on the road. Other memorable experiences um, for our second show, which was at Cameron's in Gloucester, I saw a blind man run for the door the second we started playing. Uh -oh. What happened in Quincy? The fact that nobody was there. Um, yeah, I can't, I can't think of anything else. I'll